Welcome to another episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Saga. In this series, Farfa and I open 10 Master Packs and 10 Secret Packs in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel each week to try and improve our decks. After that, we'll play in a best of three match to determine that episode's winner. There is one catch though, neither player is allowed to craft any cards other than in one specific situation. The winner of the match gets an extra 5 packs the following week, while the loser is allowed to craft any one card of their choice. Also, every 5 episodes we introduce a new change to the Forbidden and Limited list where we ban and limit a handful of cards. Tune in every Wednesday at 5pm Eastern for a new episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Saga. Welcome to episode 15 of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Saga. Today we are obviously changing up the Forbidden and Limited list, including that we are going to both unban a card and put it to Limited. Beyond that, we have a number of other changes planned for today's episode, like for example, finally we are allowed to use the solo like dual strategy cards, so those are Monster of Born, Regeki, and Reinforcement of the Army. Also, we are introducing a new mechanic at the end of each episode starting today, so I don't know what to call this, it's like the deck of randomness, but basically I have a custom card deck full of rule changes that either apply immediately or for the next episode. I don't want to give too many of these rule changes away right now, but the basic idea is that there are small permanent changes, like an extra craft of a card that you pulled during the next episode, or there are big temporary changes, like for the next episode only, chat picks your secret pack. So make sure to stay until the end of the episode to see which random rule change we get. For now though, we are going to go over our bands. So we have two bands each, and then we each get two limits, and then we get one final limit of a currently banned card. Uh, so I guess you start off, what is your first ban today? Well, um, it's, uh, I don't know if it's any, gonna be any surprise. Uh, it is, uh, generic, it, uh, allows you to access any trap in your deck, of which many of them are turn-ending, so, uh, my first ban will be for Rafflesia. Well, that is two Trap Tricks cards on the ban list. <laughs> it is actually, Rafflesia isn't it? Rafflesia was, uh, yeah, such a powerful card. My first ban, uh, probably unsurprisingly, because this was arguably your best deck over the last five weeks, I'm going to ban uh, Blackbeard from the Plunder Patrol archetype because that was really what led me to play Gradles in the first place was I had to pick a deck that was not uh, dark, fire, or light. <laughs> That's fair enough. Uh, yeah. Gonna miss the gonna miss the ships. My first ban, uh, second ban, sorry, is unsurprisingly I need to hit the Gradle strategy somehow and I think mm -hmm. the best way to do it is to just ban Impact. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, so as far as I remember, you only have two individual Gradles. Um, so getting rid of the three of Rota uh, might be the way to, to deal with yeah, that. Yeah, that's so. probably the way to go. For my second ban, uh, because honestly, I didn't really know what else to hit. I am going to ban regular Mirror Force here. Standard yeah, Mirror Force? Wow. Quaking, but I'm going to ban the regular Mirror Force because uh, I don't want to play around two different Mirror Forces. I can kind of try to play around Quaking Mirror Force, yeah, just but like regular Mirror there. Force and Quaking Mirror Force, it's too much for one duelist to play against. Yeah, I was really close to banning Ice Dragon, but it, it just, I don't know, a random one-off ban just didn't feel as strong as like extra deck and engine, but that's that's, uh, yeah, that's I mean, respectable. Specifically for me, you had to hit Gradle Impact and Rafflesia. It was so hard to choose anything yeah. else, so I understand. My first limit is uh, Harpy Channeler. Uh, you pulled... <laughs> three copies of one of the best starters in that archetype yeah. so naturally gotta hit that consistency one is all i need so in, in, in reality like you're just back down to my level for my first limit um i'm going to limit seer you know i didn't ban dante you can still play burning abyss if you want to but uh we will limit Seer because I think that will hurt your recursion. It looked like you only owned one graph, so you're like really limited into like what you can actually do with that deck consistently. You can certainly still play it if you want. You got Firelight, you got all those other Burning Abyss monsters, but I'm going to put Seer to one copy per deck. Uh, second limit is pretty hard because the mm. problem is that you have so many good one-offs, <laughs> like <laughs> Prosperity and Talents and all yeah. that kind of stuff. So I can't, you know, it feels wasteful to ban but it, they're also still kind of problematic mm. uh so the closest thing i i think that i can really go to is is maybe hunting ground uh oh, yeah, i don't want you sense. to keep potentially sniping um any good back row i pull especially if <laughs> you know wink wink i decide to play more burning abyss kind of want to have my uh 
My Fire, uh, Lake Fire Lake's level. live. Yes, yeah. exactly. I'm going to limit because, uh, gosh, I just, it's, that card's so crazy. Um, it does hurt me. It does hurt me, but I think it's good for the overall health of the format. I'm going to limit Ring of Destruction. <laughs> Um, okay. It's a card that both of us own multiple copies of, and it definitely has put work in over the last 15 episodes. And I Not for me, because all your trap out. tricks are immune to traps. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess so. But and my I mean, and Rafflesia and Saras and Mermilio yeah. is limited, so I think the trap tricks days are over. <laughs> now we're moving on to our unbans here. This is a big deal. So the rule was, by the way, for anyone that wants to know, you can only unban a card and it goes to limited, but it has to be a card that was banned before we started filming today. So it has to be like a card that we didn't just ban two seconds ago. So what are you going with? So this was hard because, um, well, I guess it's not that hard. Uh, I suppose if, it, if we were going to unban and this, the card just gets unbanned, I definitely would have went for Lightning Storm because I have two and I am mm -hmm. sick of your back row. But naturally, I think, you know... Uh, if it's, if we're just getting one copy, I mean, he put in an absolute, so much work in the early episode. So I definitely have to bring back Zeus. Oh my gosh. You didn't go for the lightning. I am impressed. Like I'm yeah. very surprised. Well, I think generally engine cards are better than random uh, one-offs that you have to draw, right? Yeah. yeah and so I think we also totally sort of, fair. you know, mutually agreed that Golden Lord unban, it's maybe, <laughs> it's not, may, maybe yeah. not gonna be so fun for people to watch if I unban Golden Lord and then just play Eldritch for uh, however many Five weeks. weeks. <laughs> so my limit, um, I've thought about this for a while, and as crazy as it sounds, you know, I looked at all the bans and stuff, um, I am going to unban Time Thief Redoer. You keep hitting all of my good rank fours, and it's Ooh. like it was really hard for me to decide between uh, Exiton Knight and Dweller and Redoer, but I think Redoer is so powerful at every yeah. stage of the game, winning or losing. That's the one that I want to play in my decks, and that's the one that I'm going to put to it's one. It's so hard to deal with in sealed, and the yeah, potential yeah, of no, just stealing crazy. a trap to bounce things for free is just so good. So that is it for the bans and limits, and our one unban. This is definitely going to change things up. Uh, no more harpies for me. No more gradles for me. No more trap tricks for me. So uh, I'm going to really have to change up my decks, and I think that you'll have to look for a new deck as well because. Now you don't have as good of a Burning Abyss lineup, and you also don't have your Plunder Patrol deck anymore, but uh, this is going to be a pretty big episode, I think. I don't have as good of a what lineup? Excuse me? I always have a good Burning Abyss lineup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One Seer, one Graph, one Skarm. Perfect. <laughs> All I need. One tour guide away from being playable. But uh, anyway, let's get on to the polls. YouTube! Ten packs of Master Pack, and it was so troll despair last week that we actually get a guaranteed Ultra. That's how bad they were. So let's open up some uh, Master Packs and hopefully get some really beautiful secret packs unlocked along the way and it looks like we're getting at least two ultras this week not too bad got a hollow off the bat here it is <gasps> oh my god yes oh that's huge i am sick to death of losing to this guy's back row every week dude let's go twin twister at the very minimum this week cannot be a failure just because of twin twister that's great to know another hollow here and what do we have captain Necroface. All right, next up is a China Deployment and an Arima. And here's our Ultra. All right, what are we uh, trying to get from the Ultra? I mean, it could literally be anything, so we'll see. It is Math Mech Pack. And I do have a couple of Math Mechs, but the thing is, I think Math Mechs are a little too high rarity. We'll see what this unlocks inside the pack here. Another Ultra. All right, and this ultra is Titanoclad the Ash Dragon. All right, we'll see what exactly is in this pack after. Another ultra! Oh boy, we are swimming today. Anything good? Virtual World! Never really played that deck before, so it's going to be a little troll despair if I play. Another hollow. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Uh, Leonidas and a Toon Dark Mage. Oh my god, Troll Despair. Ojama Emperor and a Chaos Emperor. Now this boy is a tank. All right, final pack here. It is indeed a hollow. After that horrible, miserable 10 packs last week, at least we're getting some sexy stuff this week. Ooh, Telenites. And 
The gates of Dark World. I think maybe my Dark World engine is starting to get kind of decent. Here we go, 10 packs of Master Pack. We have a new format, a new ban list. Um, this is gonna be pretty crazy. All of our good decks are kind of in the trash right now, so we really need a good new archetype to carry us this week. I don't really think the Gradle strategy is playable anymore, even though I do have like three copies of Eagle technically, and I guess the one Alligator too. Without impact, those cards are just not nearly as good. But we do have two hollows in this pack at least, so uh, let's see what we can get here. No. <laughs> Kaiju? Okay, what's the other archetype in this pack? This uh, Ancient Chant, though, we're not going into the Egyptian God card pack. If you guys watched the uh, Master Roulette video from a couple weeks ago, uh, this pack is really bad to go into, <laughs> so no thanks. Kaiju and Danger are in the same pack? Oh, interesting. Nothing out of here. Goki Suprax! Wait, that's actually a big pickup! Wasn't this one where we had... No, I think we did have three copies of this, actually. <gasps> three Hollows! Battle Fusion? Breakthrough Skill? Gem Knights! Oh my gosh, that's the Emancipator pack! We can go back into Ad Emancipators. I mean, that sounds incredible, right? You thought he was mad about great old trap tricks, he's gonna be really mad about Ad Emancipators. <laughs> um, nothing out of here. See, we're getting to the point where we can go back into packs, which is interesting. Plague Spider Zombie, a second copy? Wow. Like, I really wanted to go back to playing Chaos, because I really had a lot of fun with that 60 card deck, and we did pull a second copy of the original Raikou. Another Lind, pretty cool. Ultra Rare, nice. True King pack. <gasps> oh my gosh! We already have a Titan. But this pack was like really bad. Like really, really bad. Every playable card was like a super or a higher. Yeah, if I pulled the Nemesis pack, that would be pretty good. I don't know what those are out of. Yeah, I could play Watts, I guess. Last pack here. Photon Orbital, okay. We have a lot of options here, actually. Um, I'm pretty curious to see what we can go into. 10 packs of uh, Cyber City Guardians. Pack number one. Got a hold off the bat, is it a Lulu? Lulu, Lulu? Oh, it's huge. First Kowloon in pack number one, that's huge. And it's... Could have been a Lulu. Well, that's gonna be good in Dart World, I think, because you can banish gates or something maybe, right? We're looking for more, uh, Kowloons. We're looking for Qinglong. Uh, we got the Hollow, but it's not from the pack. That's unfortunate. It's a Galaxy Wizard and a Neo Flamvel Hedgehog. Troll Despair. Okay. There's a Lili, our first one, and we've got two Tutus. Ultra number uno. I don't even know what Ultras we want, to th now that I think about it. So it's not from the pack. So, I mean, it, this could just be, like, a very good staple, right, Shirley? <gasps> what? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Nibiru is such a weird card. You don't know if it's like good in this format or not. At least it's there in the collection if we need it. Another GG and we finished the playset of Tutus. Um, really unfortunate. We do need more Kowloons. Two more Kowloons and some Chuches would be ideal. We also need one Chinglong at least to try and make this work. There's a Cruel Whale and a Royal Decree! Yo! Remember that it's not the end of the world if we don't get the Virtuo cards. We can just play, like, Code Talkers, because now we have Twin Twister, we have Royal Decree, and uh, it's looking pretty... Like, that deck could get a little bit better. That's the second Kowloon, that's huge! Three would be ideal, we also need a Qinglong. If this is Lulu, then I think maybe Virtual's the pick. Let's see. <sighs> UFO Roid. Wait, Ghost Trick Jack Frost could not ironically be worth playing just as a card in our deck. It's like a Book of Moon Battle Fader. Could I actually just play this? Nothing. Tutu. Allow to. Okay, that's like six tutus. Yeah, this is uh, unfortunately not looking like the one, the, the play for uh, Virtual World this week, chat. This is like an absolute sick pack, then uh, that's something. And we got Bomber Dragon. That's pretty good. Oh my god, to think that this could be a playset of Lulu. Honestly, if anything, I feel like our Code Talker deck got stronger this week. And that's basically it. Half the chat is telling me not to, but I'm going to go for the Thunder Dragon pack. Uh, we have Colossus, we have Titan, we have one Hawk, and we have two copies of Thunder Dragon Duo. And this uh, goes with the Chaos deck really well, which now that I've banned Blackbeard, we can actually play Chaos again, which is great. Mm, that's not good. Maybe some of those are rarity upgrade packs. Let's hope they are. Okay, I'm not instantly regretting this, but I'm not thrilled about it. 
Okay. No. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> we don't need hollows wasted on walk cards. <gasps> okay, that's a good one. We now have a Dragon Matrix to search with our other copy. Even that is like a pretty big pull. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, that's maybe relevant a little bit. Looks like we're building Watts. I don't think that's possible. <gasps> Third copy of Duo, that's a big pickup. Duo is like the most important one for our Chaos deck because that one searches other cards, which is great. Fourth copy of Duo. Do we have this card yet? Probably. Yeah, the Sum, sum Summoner is a really good pickup. <laughs> Advanced Ritual, okay. Do we have any more Hollows? Baited! Okay, we do have now our second copy of Thunder Dragon. Please just show me like a Dragon Roar right here. I really need that. Not out of the back. Shit. <laughs> oh! Reborn Tengi, that's funny. Eh, okay, another copy of that's not bad, I guess, but... Okay! <laughs> oh yeah, we didn't pull any Ultra Rares. Oh my gosh. What's funny is that uh, we really don't need the Ultra Rares anymore. We need uh, the Super Rares. Um, I'm not gonna go back into that pack. We're gonna switch to the Danger pack. <laughs> a lot of the uh, Dangers are low rarity. Like, the Chubacabra and Dogman are rares. Oh my gosh, look at that. Ogopogo, Thunderbird, Response Team is not bad at all. And Radiant, too, great. The problem with going into this pack, like, all into this pack, would have been that there just isn't really, like, a win condition in this one, but... <laughs> we pulled a prize card. Um, oh my gosh, we have so many Kaijus, another Ogopogo. Pack number four. Tsuchinoko would be a big pickup. Okay, no hollows. <laughs> it's fine. Um, no, the low rarity dangers are fine, too. A play set of Ogopogos. Final pack. No hollows, but that's okay. These are all just like good dark monsters. And we were kind of lacking in the dark uh, monsters. So I think our deck is going to look really ridiculous. What is my craft this week? I could craft a second twin. All right. Huge. I like the second, uh, Second twin. YouTube! Back at it again for my fifth hot streak in a row of losing. This week we're gonna do it with Code Talkers. Now I still believe that this is a semi sleeper deck in my collection and uh, something that Doug appears to be undermining because this is just three monsters on the field is update, transcode, access, pop two, attack for game. That's quite easy to pull off. Now that we've got two twin twisters this week, apparently I forgot that I have a true nade in my deck and on top of that, that. We haven't played this deck since we also crafted the Duster. Plus, with the unbanning of Zeus, if necessary, it's probably not going to come up, but if we ever do make a rank 4, we can go into Silent Honor Arc, which is protection, and then go into Zeus to wipe the field. But yeah, this is the list, and uh, we're going to give it a shot. Okay, we are on 60 cards once again. This is actually a lot better than the last 60 card deck that I played. We have pulled a number of great Chaos Monsters over the last few episodes, but I wasn't able to play those because Farfa had his Plunder Patrol deck, which obviously you don't want to play dark and light monsters against. But now that we banned Plunder Patrol Blackbeard, we can finally play our Chaos deck once again. There are lots of cool combos going on here. The main one that I want to focus on though, I'm not going to spend too much time on this, is a Thunder Dragon duo has a ton of search targets. This card can go into Nemesis Corridor, which can then go into Colossus. It can add a Kaiju to our hand if we want to. It can add Thunder Dragon Hawk to our hand. Um, there is a lot we can do with Thunder Dragon duo, so it's going to be a three of. I think this deck is very powerful. I know it looks really funny at 60 cards, but I think that uh, this should be pretty good this week. All right, here we go. First episode after new ban list. And then don't forget at the end of this duel, at the end of this match, we get to uh, draw from the deck of randomness. I don't know what I should call it. Deck of randomness, deck of rules, random rule deck. <laughs> rule deck. Draw from yeah. the rule book. <laughs> draw from the rule book. <laughs> And there yeah. are some uh, crazy ass rules in there, let me tell you, but I won't spoil them too much. All right, you won the dice roll. Oh, That's uh, interesting. Here we go. I trust you, my channel points. I'm kind of nervous. Thanks. Yeah, we're going to see how it goes. Okay. Interesting. Okay, this is really bad. Let's go set this. Really on 60 cards again, Doug, aren't you? All right, okay. What, what of it? What, what of it? What, Nothing. Just, what just it? making sure. Dangers! Well, I guess Danger now I see Ogopogo. why you, oh, they voted for dangers. Oh, that's the worst discard in the hand. Ash! Okay. Damn, okay. And Ogo Poggers in defense mode. So you're okay. setting a card before you're using a danger. Interesting. Okay, he got a Raiden. 
and reborn in Raiko. Not bad. Um, yeah, I guess go ahead. Okay, and then milling two more. What do we have here? Dark Chaos Sark. Sark. All right. Doug decided to play Dart Beginning 1 in 2022. <laughs> That's understandable. All right, well, uh, we're running it back with normal summon Clock Wyvern. Oh my gosh, that was the fucking Clock Wyvern again. <laughs> yep. Going uh, back here. All right, here we yep. go. Let's put down Sinet Codec. Yeah, that's um, not bad. The gotta make sure, like, I don't want to mess up with, like, the materials and stuff this week. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, all right. normal summon math mech pass this time. <laughs> We're going to put this into a link spider. Okay. We're going to put clock wyvern... And from my hand, Exporter. Nice, which is now in the CCG. Yes, sir. Code to talk, Code Talker. So I'm going to activate Synet Codec as Chainlink 1, targeting my Dark Code Talker and Exporter as Chainlink 2, targeting the Clock Wyvern to recur it back from my graveyard. Man. Oh, just the one card I need you to not have. The one card, Doug, in 60. In 60. Oh, God. Brother, I am ill. I am not feeling well. Oh, my God. Oh, I should have banned it. Like, I just should have banned it. God damn. Oh my god, it doesn't even search because there's yeah, no longer an attribute on the, the field. <laughs> this was like three trap cards in one! Oh! I just can't with you, man! Oh I just god. can't! Oh, oh I am shit. a fountain of sodium chloride right now. I don't care what happens, you could pull, like, a playset of tour guides uh, from now on or something and play, like, whatever, you know, some crazy, like, deck that needs, like, three ultras. I will declare from today, my first ban will be Ice Dragon's Prison in 5F episodes. Tune in. I am oh sick God. of this card. Sorry, I gotta calm down for a sec. Um... Can we, okay, one sec, okay, so just think about what you just did. You DD yeah. crowed my recursion, you removed mm -hmm. a body from my field, and you ashed my codec. That was three negations in one ice dragon. Please think about that. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway, so, sorry, please proceed with your turn. Okay. Yeah. Um, go. <laughs> go, right? Get oh, me I as well. Done this so first. Just... Oh, I'm so stupid. I always feel this card is a second effect. Yeah, I'm normal summon right go. Oh, uh, this is like banishes a card, right? Yeah, it has another effect that I just missed out on because I'm stupid, but it's fine. I feel like it has to be Kodak. I'm so scared of that card. Oh, oh no more Ice Dragons back there to stop it, huh? Do you have a BLS? I can't remember. I do have BLS, yeah. Like Link like... BLS? Or... Oh, no, no, no. Just the regular BLS. Vanilla BLS. Okay. Um, I guess this is a good judgment target. <laughs> Yeah, big body. that's not bad. This is where we banish a light in the dark. <laughs> we switch Ogopogo to attack mode. And mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, fair. All right. Didn't think about running into judgment there. Gonna be honest. <laughs> <laughs> no one expected. I was like, surely this is fine. Oh god, you banished my code talker, didn't you? <laughs> One of the prison is an ice dragon. All right. Well, yup. Clock number two. <laughs> Did you open two again? <laughs> I did open two, yes. Well, unfortunately, I don't have a cool talker in my grave, do I, Doug? <laughs> this is where I would play one if I had one. Oh, this guy. Does. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, nothing else to do. We're just gonna summon Dark Honest. Yep. Oh, damn! There's a Lost Wind in there. Man, thirteen hundred over twelve hundred. This is kind of rough, huh? Feels yep. like we're playing old school Yu-Gi-Oh. Twelve over a thousand. Thirteen over twelve. My monster is bigger than yours. Smile. Okay, that's interesting. Let's go special duo. Gonna banish a light in the dark. Who's duo? A light in the dark? Thunder, Who Thunder is this? Duo. Thunder Dragon. Oh, Thunder Dragon duo. God. Yeah. And a curry bandit. And a curry bandit. Oh, nay. <laughs> oh, nay. Uh, so there's that. And then this triggers. I'm gonna grab Nemesis Corridor, I guess. Corridor? Yeah. Do you have I a losses? Like a while ago. Um, and then I go, I'm 
in phase two. And then Excuse me? Corridor. <laughs> Excuse me? Raiden? <laughs> it's a wall. Can we... Yo, back up here. I'm about to hit surrender before I see this. I don't I refuse to, like... I don't want this. To, I don't want to see this. Well, in the so in episode ten, I went for the Thunder Dragon pack and I pulled like all Watt cards except Duo, right? Mm. Then this week, out of my Master packs, I happened to pull. <sighs> Thunder Dragon. There he is. <laughs> yep. Um, Casually just has a Colossus. Yep, Colossus. <laughs> all right. Yeah. God damn. Card deck not looking too bad now, huh? Okay, yeah, let's add a... Uh, add Duster, Duster why not? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man, more than 40 is the way. You just get to play every good card in the game. Right. <gasps> oh my god! Uh, Go ahead, Doug. Oh, this is just during every end phase? I didn't even know that. I'm um, sure. Go ahead. So, attack for game, right? So, I ban regular mirror for <laughs> but like you know that I have this, right? <laughs> well, what if you have like a response to this? Played like a fiddle, baby. Starlight oh. Road. <laughs> no, and you have a fucking Stardust too. Okay, that's let's fine. go. <laughs> well, that's fine unless you also do happen to have exactly Quake in your Force. You have Quake in your Force, Starlight Road. <laughs> <laughs> you say go first makes me feel alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, if you have exactly quaking, I guess this wins. I think. Mm. Just casually but by, by the way, can we just remember that Doug just casually overlaid his Colossus? Into a Felgrand. Nice pulls, Doug. You know, just nice pulls. Thanks. Um, I guess I'll use the effect. Okay, yeah, you're making it immune, sure. Yep. Let's attack. Yep, that's fine. Okay, damage Kelk. Or damage step, I guess. Oh. Okay, good. Was it quaking? Uh, no, it was Twin Twister. Oh. <laughs> I, just, I was just baiting you, dude. I was just baiting you. I mean, I, the Starlight Road almost got in there. Like, holy shit. Okay. You want to go first for a second? Um, I would like to go second. Okay. Wait, really? I don't, yeah. I don't okay. think your deck does too much going first. Like, I wasn't impressed with your Pogo Pass. You weren't impressed with um, Pogo Pass? Dang. All right. You have one job, Doug, and it's, it's don't set uh, Ice Dragon. It's the worst. It's the worst. Mm. This is uh, interesting. Okay. The infamous T set. Let's go. Um. <gasps> oh, damn it. Click the wrong card. Oh, I was like. I hope that won't be an issue. Let's see. Uh, we're going to first summon out. Oh, yeah, I guess there is uh, uh, yeah, those Digitron guys. from the deck here. We're going to go into a, a Link Spider. Man, see those starter deck cards. Oh my Super god, there's matter. a delay as soon as I put a Cybers in the graveyard. Do not do this to me, please. Like, stop. <laughs> Special summon Digitron from hand. Yep. Yup, he says. <laughs> yup. <laughs> yup. <laughs> yup, special. <laughs> I am going to normal summon Text Changer. Oh my god, like, I have such a bad play if that is exactly Ice Dragon, but. If you, you drew Ice Dragon in your, I mean, if you drew it twice in your opening hand, then just you know, clapper is good for you. Series is over. Yeah, I'm gonna go into inverted. I don't even know what that is. And then I'm going to go into transcode talker. Sure. I'm going to activate the effect to reborn from the grave. If it's Ice Dragon, this is where you do it. So. <laughs> Let's see. All right, it's not. Let's go. Woo, we didn't have it. Okay, so we're going to summon out our access code. And now I get to use the card you just used on me. Oh, <laughs> so that's judgment. disgusting. Hey, man, it was good for you, too. Oh, that's rough. Okay, Ugh. let's draw a playable card. Here we go. 
That is painful. Not what I would have chosen to draw. Old man say no. Wait, did you just pass? <sighs> yeah, I just passed. <laughs> On the... Very interesting. Uh, text changer! <laughs> Why Pass. are there multiple copies of this? <laughs> uh, it's my best normal summon. Don't I guess I don't can't get attack, though, now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of funny. Um, yeah, I guess we'll set this. <laughs> okay. This is not the result of me playing 60 cards. This is just, I'm just waiting for you to make a play. And, yep, that's, that's fair. Well... Bit of a weird play, but let's go with a Kodak. Okay. Kodak. Normal summon Ash Blossom into Old Talker. Yep. That's just and two that... effect monsters. Yes, sir. Dang. <laughs> Why did now I can use Cyanet Kodak to search. Yeah, link or... into Hulk <laughs> into Selene in the second second action step. Add Microcoder. Oh, I couldn't remember. I was gonna ask that in the first game. I couldn't remember if microcoder was a dark or a light. I'm gonna use a microcoder from my hand here. Yep. To go into another transcode. I do have two. Smile. Oh, you have two of those? Shit. Yes, sir. Uh, we're gonna go that chain link one realize. microcoder, chain link to codec to search for an earth. You okay. dismantled that second axis code talker, right? <laughs> yes, that would not be very legal for me to play. <laughs> Uh, so we're gonna add a code generator from our deck to our hands. Yeah. Gonna add a conflict here. It's an Omni Negate. It's not fair. And it banishes. Yeah, it's pretty And good. it's a call by the grave. Wow. Okay. Not bad. Uh, we're going to activate the effect of Transcode Talker. I guess it's a nice little safety play. Um... I guess I think this chain. This. It feels like pretty low impact because it doesn't actually get rid of it and you still have the conflict, but... I might as well use my cross wipe. <coughs> uh, the one now? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. So I can dodge your fiendish chain and re still resolve my code talker not and bad. destroy your monster in the process. So you not... fool, that's where Plague Spider wanted to be. Oh. oh, right, of course, it needs to summon to a zone it points to. That's unlucky. What now? Oh, yeah, so shit. it doesn't fully okay. resolve. Yeah, that, that's a misplay. That's a misplay. Dude, that's too complicated. <laughs> yeah, I think if I left oh, that up, it, it would it would should have been better. Because then I could just oh, sit on a conflict. This, this Unlucky. Um, this isn't a 60 card stack fault, chat. Don't don't think it is. It's That's not why this is happening. Um, go ahead. <laughs> wow. Really just this giving is... the game to me here, and I'm just refusing to, uh... Oh! Sorry, Doug. I'm just really good at Yu-Gi-Oh. Unfortunately, I can't target access code because it wasn't correctly summoned. But hey! Remember, this was your idea to put these cards in the format, alright? Yeah, no, right? we wanted Saki one us. We've also, we've also seen three animations this game. Well, two Solemns, but... Uh, can... Oh, that doesn't have to be Link Summoned to get that effect. You just can... Okay, you just get to revive one, sure. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. Not bad. Pretty good. So they both have good. 500 and they can't be targeted. I don't think I have much more gas with my uh, access gone, so let's just I mean, go battle phase. Two pretty big monsters on the board. Another plague spreader. Another plague spreader, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. Um, <clears throat> sure. Playable card up top? Mm, okay. Activate Regeki. Well, I guess I don't have a choice. Okay, not the second Starlight Road, at least. I'm at 12. Okay, well, I'm at 12, so... Hmm. Thunder. <laughs> okay. I think I'm losing this one. I'll special Frank. Or Pink, I should say. Sure. That's pretty much it, I think. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it. Okay, all right. Yeah, I think um, it's a loss. <laughs> I think I got this one. Yeah, me too. Um, small misplay last turn. I didn't realize I also had a normal summon. I could have just normaled a 1300 beater. <laughs> so, whoopsie. Yeah. Uh, so, let's just go battle phase and... <gasps> oh my gosh, I made the biggest misplay ever. That's someone in chat just pointed out. Oh my gosh, yeah, I don't deserve to win this one. There you go. Well, that, that makes up for me misplaying last turn. Yeah, I absolutely just threw this so fucking hard. <laughs> 
Oh. I didn't even think about that. I was like, how do I get a light in the grave? But I can figure it out. Okay. <gasps> yeah, okay, yeah. we have a game three. This isn't the first. This this is what like the. I think this is the first time it's not a two-o sweep in four episodes. I don't know. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Perfect gameplay only. Here we go. Now must stay. Yeah, no misplays. No misplays allowed from either side. Yep, we got this. Okay. I'm gonna normal summon raided. Mm-hmm. Raiko Chaos Orc. Um, I'm gonna set I'm gonna set two. Oh, oh I don't like that. Don't like that at all. Hawk in Canada. Okay, that's pretty good. Alright, come on. One of my Alright, well, let's start with this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make this, man. I really don't like that the Raiden got the boost. Cause I would honestly just consider going very clock simple beatdown. Because doesn't clock you know. at 18. Speaking of whom, yep, that is my normal summon for the turn. I will be summoning a token go ring. Yes, the newly limited. That's one back row play um, through. I won't chain that. Kind of annoying because I actually don't get the token here. Dude, like yep. the amount of like fizzles that are, are being These caused this game. Have, yeah. yeah. <sighs> okay, so I mean, I have like a line, but it's just the question of what that last card is. Right. I mean, what do you do? You just go, you go for it, right? Like. Why are you oh. giving my guy a thousand attack? <laughs> uh, I may have mixed it up with subtraction, but don't worry. That's uh. Is that what the math mechs do? I've like never played against an actual math. That is uh that is that is the BM. Do you know why? Cause uh I I'm simply going for it. Alright, here's update jammer. And then from my hand oh, shit. Code okay, Exporter cool. yep. into Transcode Talker. Yeah, so there's three different cards or four different cards that can uh link from a hand. There's like micro yeah. coder, code exporter. Code generator, and there's like another one I think that exists. I don't know. What does this guy do again? He revives a guy. Um, Transcode, yeah. That's, that's pretty good. Was it too late Adds to use code. your uh, ice dragon, Doug? Because <laughs> it, you can just use it now in response to the transcode targeting. In a 60 card? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, all right. Uh, it is so... what it is. It is what it is. Oh, <laughs> Canada as well. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I wanted to not use it. <laughs> <laughs> I tried uh, just doing the Ring of Destruction, so I didn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I really wanted to not. I was going to try not to. <laughs> That's um, fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. So addition boosting the Raiden was a, is a, a, irrelevant. I um I was gonna go for that play regardless. If you had it, you had it. That, that's right. just how it is it's sometimes. It's not permanent, right? Yeah. So it no, 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 no. Oh God. Mm, it's so good. It's really sad because like it's like the one deck that hard loses to that card because every card yeah. is a cyburst. So boss monster, extenders, starters, everything is a cyburst. So it's like you just kind of secede to uh. But also, exactly what the hell? There, why is there a? Oh, <gasps> sir. <laughs> I may have changed the DPI in my map. This isn't a meme, by the way. <laughs> Are you like flick shotting your normal summons? What is I going on? I flick shotted and I clicked no effect. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I accidentally changed the DPI like a couple seconds ago and I was like, that probably won't matter. So wait, um, is this like the wrong normal summon or what is this? I, I didn't use the on summon effect of Ryko. Oh! Okay. Surely that won't matter. But oh, wait, can... no, I was supposed to. Oh, I'm just throwing. Oh, Jiju, like, okay. Throwing. Actually, actually hard throwing. Oh? Yeah. Are you so okay? Right uh, no, I'm, I'm so tired, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just the, uh, it's, I was supposed to use Raiko there. Sure. Did you have game if you just hit the back row and did something else? No, I didn't have game, no, I, but like, okay. if you Quake in there, I would have got super punished. All right. Well, that is a card. Yup, clock. <laughs> yup, clock. <laughs> yup, clock. Okay. Bring back uh, to so Jiju. Uh, but I pulled this card this week, by the way. This is annoying. Can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. Oh, is it not live? No, that's what I screwed up. I was supposed to put that. Oh, on. oh okay. wait, this has two different names. I didn't throw. I didn't throw. Hold on. I, it was it's two different names. I was gonna do double right. With the yeah, same no original type and attribute, but different, different names. Yeah. So it yeah. should be live, right? Okay, let's go. Ockback Lancer. What the hell is this? 
Uh, I'm going oh to my gosh. the effect of Oh my, my gosh, Salmon Ray Mole? <laughs> mole! Yeah, I'm just playing okay, all of the yeah. uh, all of the extenders here. Man, um, you're probably... And this isn't... There's no way this isn't true. I bet, I'm like willing to bet, you are the first person in this game to ever summon Salmon Great Mole. <laughs> it's not awful, doesn't it? Like Mulligan 5 or something? Yeah, it's, it's it recycles five you salads. Don't have any monsters. <laughs> They're not like unplayable, you know? Yeah. Wait, did I, am Just I summoning the right chat, monster? Salmon Great Mole got a hollow before Foxy and Jack Jaguar. Uh, this is still game, right? Uh, a double attacking know. access code for 53? Yeah, I'm pretty. Yeah, yeah, this is still game. Okay. Okay. You Yo, did it. I do it? You got oh it. my god. Oh, the streak is over. I'm so proud of you. We did finally. <laughs> oh my god. Been through hell and back to uh, try and achieve Wait. a win. Why didn't you pop cards? Why would I? If I pop, I can't kill you. If I if I pop the Raikou, I can't kill you because Why? I need to I need to leave it up to do that because the, the Jijus can't be destroyed by battle. No, it could be destroyed by battle. I didn't have the right cards engraved. Oh, you said it was live. Did I just miss here? No, I said it wasn't live. Oh, because no, yeah, I oh, thought it was gonna be I'm... live, but then it's two monsters with same attributes and different type or same types right, but different right. names. Okay, so double Raikou that's fair. Got it. But you got it. I'm so proud of I you. I mean, was, yeah, we still had we still had the numbers. So woo! Yeah. <laughs> so before we end it though, for the first time we get to do the the random rule drawings. So here we are at the first drawing of the deck of randomness or whatever we're calling it. So some of these cards are uh, really really crazy, and some of them are like a little bit less crazy, but they're permanent changes. And we're gonna draw a card. You, but you came up with card. twenty of them. That's a lot. Right, there's duplicates in there to increase the odd. Okay, here we go. Draw one card. We got. <laughs> Yes! Neither player may play any trap cards that joint. Yes! Yes! No ice dragon! No ice dragon! <laughs> oh my god! So neither player may play any trap cards in their deck during the next episode. So that's Brother, a, I am a ill. Big Let's go. change for only one episode. Okay. Alright. So there go. you go. No ice dragons prison next week. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, fun times, fun times. So that'll be next week. That'll be next okay, week. Okay, that's really, this is really cool. Uh, this is actually pretty yeah. exciting. So this I can't is wait. at the end of each episode. I don't want to spoil too many of them, but there are some really funny ones in there, and that one's pretty funny to get on with.